Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video we'll be covering the root test and the root test will be the last of the uh, tests we have to know in order to test for convergence and divergence of a series. So with that let's just write down the definition of root test and do a few examples. So here is the definition of the root test. So this one is very similar to the ratio test. So let's go right to it. So suppose that we have the series, which is the summation of an. Okay, so define the following. So define the limit L as the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a n, which of course by definition is the exact same thing as the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n to the power of one over n. If now this is some very similar to the root test. If L is bigger than is less than one, we have convergence because it's absolutely convergent, hence convergence. If L is bigger than one, it is divergent. And the last one, if L is equal to one, well, the test is simply inconclusive and we're good to go. Okay, and as a final kind of reminder, uh, this is this is one limit that might be a little bit important in the future. The limit as n approaches infinity of n to the one over n is equal to one. You can prove this rigorously using Lobel's rule by converting this to a natural log and then doing Lobel's rule that way. But I'm not going to go through derivation. But this is a useful limit to know, and which will be a little bit well useful in the later examples. So let's go ahead and do a few examples involving the root test. So example. So determine if the summation from n equals 2 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over natural log of n to the n converges or diverges. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So we know that a n, if you kind of separate this out a little bit, is equal to negative 1 to the power of n times 1 over the natural log of n to the, to the power of n. Okay, so of course the absolute value of a n in this case, the negative one is just going to disappear. So in this case, we're going to have one over the natural log of n over n to the n. Sorry. So what's going on here? So determine if this thing converges or diverges. So now we do a limit of this thing. So L is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of one over the natural log of n to the n to the 1 over n. Okay, so if you go ahead and do this out, the n's will obviously cancel. So we get the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over the natural log of n, because this n is going to cancel with this n, and 1 to the power of any non infinite number or non undefined or indeterminate number is 1. So we're good to go. But if you plug in infinity now, we'll get 1 over ln infinity, which is, well, 0. And 0 is less than 1, so therefore this thing is convergent. So, not too bad. So this is a little bit easier to work with uh, than the root test, uh, than the ratio test, sorry, depending on what kind of limit we have, or series we have. If you have powers of n, it's usually easier to use the root test to, to approach this limit, or this series. So with that, let's move on to the next example. So 
So I'll just copy paste this thing because it's going to be the same question. The series is just going to be different. Okay, so this time we want to determine if the following series converges or diverges. So it's going to be the summation from zero to infinity of, let's see. So it's going to be 5n minus 3n cubed over 7n cubed plus 2 to the power of n. And we want to determine if this thing converges or diverges. Okay, so, well, let's take a look. If we take the limit of this thing, we get the limit as n approaches infinity of 5n minus 3n cubed over 7n cubed plus 2 to the power of n, and then we raise this to the power of 1 over n. Obviously, these two cancel. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of 5n minus 3n cubed over 7n cubed plus 2. Okay, but now if you go ahead and do this, remember we sleep the absolute value. If you go ahead and do this, well, that's going to give us the limit as n approaches infinity. So I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit. So we get minus 3n cubed plus 5n. On the bottom, we get 7n cubed plus 2. And then, of course, you'll, see, you'll notice that once we divide out the highest powers and plug into infinity, or by using Lobel's rule, we'll notice that we get minus 3 over 7 for the limit. So we'll end up with the absolute value of minus 3 over 7 which is equal to 3 or 7, but then this is less than 1, meaning that this thing converges. So once again, because this is less than 1, this thing is convergent. So there's nothing particularly special about this. So let's do another example. Okay, so we want to determine if this thing converges or diverges. Of course, the series is going to be different. So it's going to be the limit. It's going to be, it's going to be the sum from three to infinity of minus twelve to the n over n, and we want to check if this thing converges or diverges. So L is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of minus twelve to the n over n to the power of 1 over n. Okay, so this is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of, well, if you go ahead and distribute this through the two terms, we'll get minus 12 over n to the power of 1 over n. But then as we talked about at the very start of the video, this limit is 1. And once again, if you wanted to prove this rigorously, you can use Lobel's rule, but I'm not going to. So that's what we get. So if you go and take the absolute value out, we'll get the limit as n approaches infinity of 12 over n to the 1 over n. And you might be asking, why didn't I take out the absolute value here? Well, because I, hadn't, because I didn't know if the terms were going to be positive or not. So I wanted to first do the limit and then do the absolute value. And strictly speaking, I should be doing the limit first and then taking the absolute value out. I shouldn't be doing it beforehand. But of course, here I'm. It's kind of obvious that the limits that the terms are all going to be positive. So it doesn't really matter in this case. Either way, though, we end up getting twelve over one, or twelve. But then twelve is bigger than one, so this thing is divergent. So we're good to go. All right, let's do one more example. So this time we're gonna check, we want to check the following series for convergence or divergence. So we get 1 over n minus 1 over n squared to the power of n. And we want to check if this thing converges or diverges. Okay, well L is going to be equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of 1 over n minus 1 over n squared to the power of n to the 1 over n. 
So if we go ahead and do this, we'll get the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n squared. And then, of course, these two cancel. So we're good to go. And now if you plug in infinity, you'll get 0 minus 0, which is just, you know, 0. But then 0 is less than 1, so this thing is convergent. So this thing is convergent or converges. And we're good to go. All right. So that is it for the examples, and that covers the root test as well. So if you have any questions about the root test or the examples, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer. But otherwise, if this really helped you, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll really appreciate it. But otherwise, thank you all so much, and have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.